Lewis' memory looks to be unstable, disrupted as little as possible, Black. Don't go in all guns blazing. You need to relax, Mr. Black. Not the easiest place to relax in, Ramsey. The environment is only a product of your own state of mind, Mr. Black. You're anxious about this memory, which in turn is producing more guards. Relax and explore, remember? No way I imagined that.
You surprise me, Black. Maybe you can be subtle when it suits you. Last time we saw each other would have been... Let me see... When I stole the corner gun. Ah, yes. See. Really, I should just have killed you on the spot. I'd feel so much better about everything. Then why don't you? So exquisite. So flawless in the way you ruined me in my company. I wanted to even the playing field a little. Do something similar to Ramsey. And I racked my brains and I just couldn't think of who would be the best man for the job. Then it occurred to me. Me? I'm Ramsey's head of security. Why would I work for you? man has his price, Black. Especially you. I'm paid well. Yes, but not as well as you'd like to be. Not as well as you could be. It's not about the money. <laughs> that old chestnut. Okay, fine. And how about this? According to my sources, Ramsey has a surprisingly accurate record of your criminal history. Far more so than the police. Seems to me he's got you over a bit of a barrel. Work for him, or go to prison. The way I see it, Mr. Black. You're his bitch. You sound jealous. I envy no man, Black. If someone has something I want, I take it for myself. So here's my offer, and I'll only make it once. You work for me, not Ramsey. I devise a plan to get Ramsey's Pandora device, and you carry it out. You name your price within reason, and if you're successful, I'll forget about the whole corner gun fiasco, and we'll both be on our merry way. How does that sound? If I refuse... You're alive because you're useful, Black. Don't get any ideas. No. Excuse me. I said no. I'm not sure I've been clear enough here, Black. Oh, you've been clear. But I refuse your offer, Howard. I'll not work for you. I'll never work for you. I'll not carry out this little plan of yours. I don't agree to any of it. I refuse.
much time, so much energy figuring out who's to blame, yet you never stop to consider yourself. What the fuck? Ramsey! What's going on? I'm... I put it... Closing the asylum. How are you doing this? What is this place? Oh, this place again. What's it all about this time? I'm afraid I haven't been quite straight with you, Black. My apologies. Right. Once and for all, what the fuck is going on, Ramsey? Where am I now? My memories, Mr. Black. Interacting with someone wearing the Pandora can sometimes create what I call synaptic bleed. Two-way traffic, if you will. <laughs> A flaw in the technology. And the asylum? Oh, forgive me. The asylum was necessary. Son of a bitch. That whole thing was just some big illusion. Simulation would be the correct term. The construct was of my own design, intended to keep your adrenaline at the optimum level for the technology to function efficiently. And the inmates? Patients are yours? The patients were nothing to do with me. I just provided the simulation. But the mind has a wonderful way of filling in the gaps. 
I show you a creepy old asylum, your mind populates it with lunatics, likely just half-remembered characters from your life, sometimes even films and books. Predictable, perhaps, but not unexpected. So you tricked me. This whole thing was a lie. Do you want to talk about lies, Mr. Black? Whose lies and tricks would you rather discuss? Mine or yours? I don't know what you mean. You know exactly what I mean. This is Grace's room. You remember her, Black. The girl you tried to save. My daughter. Of course! Then why were you there? You were my employee, Black. My head of security. You knew my daughter had been taken and you said nothing. I don't remember! I don't believe you. What about Lenore, my wife? What about her, Black? I don't know what you want me to say! She left me, Black. She blamed all this on me, and it wasn't my fault. I refuse to accept responsibility for the actions of some terrorist. Tell me what you know! All I know of her is what I've seen here, in your memories. I'm sorry, I can't help you. What about this man, Black? You remember him? I remember you, Ramsey. And I am sorry for what you've been through. But I tried to help. I just didn't get there soon enough. Please, let me go. Is that what you want, Black? To be let go? Of course. We had a deal. Let you go. Happy to, of course. But let me ask you this. Are there any circumstances under which you would not wish to be let go? What the fuck are you talking about? Welcome to my office, Mr. Black. Have a look around. I'm sure you'll be able to make sense of everything. What the fuck? This is me! More of your scare tactics, Ramsey. Well, it won't fucking work. Not anymore! You say you don't remember anything else. That you've told me everything. I have. I swear. Then perhaps it is time to let you go. Goodbye, Mr. Black. Wait! Remember it. It's still out! Robert! Don't do this! I'm sorry! I'm sorry for everything! Wake me up! Please! Just wake me up!
Cerebral link, patient number black 001. Pandora unit terminal disconnect. Would you like to commence archive data review, Dr. Ramsey? Uh, yes. Switch to Savant unit playback. Begin the review. Oh, and Hope, could you also fire up the coffee machine? Doctor, prior to review, my medical recommendation would be the implementation of a minimum four-hour rest period. Further caffeine intake will only delay fatigue, not arrest it. Then make it a double shot. Three sugars. I also need a baseline memory to carry out the review. Which was the most stable from those recorded? That would be... this. Cached on initial Pandora system startup of patient Black 001. Good. You'll then let us explore a complete memory before we review the broken. Proceed with interactive playback. Commencing data review imminently. Decoding memory cache and savant playback. Binary filters online. Servers currently running at optimal speed. Inputting biorhythmic feedback parameters. 
deep insulin injection in three, two, one. You are ready to go, Dr. Ramsey. Stay away from me. Stay away. It's okay. I'm a friend. Do my dad send you? Okay, I'm in. Commencing review. Now, where is... Ah, here we are. Warping script active, Dr. Ramsey. Good. Okay, let's follow the trail. It really happened. Save the girl. This is where they held her. Oh, Chris. I... Careful, Dr. Ramsey. Control.
You know, Hope, this is really quite satisfying. Doctor, might I remind you to control your emotional engagement while conducting the review? Any spikes in serotonin, dopamine, or adrenaline levels could... I know, I know. Cause distortion. Noted. Seems to be a lot of resistance here, Hope. I wonder, was this a result of Black trying to hide something? Or from the Pandora itself? Yes, Dr. Ramsey. Black perceived threat here, which has bled across from the audit. Nothing I can do. Makes it more difficult. I'm not trained like Black was. No matter. Oh, God. My poor child. Help me. I will fix all this. I promise. Emotional spike detected. Caution advised, Dr. Ramsey. I will get to the bottom of this, and whoever is responsible will pay. Dr. Ramsey? Dr. Ramsey? to the Pandora playback. I'm trying to pinpoint precisely where or when you are. I'm afraid your emotional state has caused a minor malfunction in playback. You are outside the code, Doctor. I would recommend caution. The data is unstable, fragmented. You must remain calm or you risk... Don't tell me the risks, Hope. Just get me out. Now, let's see where we are.
this place. This is one of my memories. Jesus, Father. I can't believe you brought them here. What are you thinking? Rose, this is an FDG facility. My facility. Staffed by the best doctors money can buy. There is no better care. I'm not talking about that. You don't need doctors, Rob. You need... You need... A fucking mortician. Oh, God, this is such a mess. Rose, just breathe. I need you together. I need you with me on this. Oh, no. This is that memory. Doctor, your vitals are reading as erratic. You must calm down or you risk full mental fracture. Too late. Hope, get me out of here. I'm trying, Doctor. Just a little longer. Come on. Come on, come on! Where am I? Oh. Doctor, try reconstructing the memory. Look for and interact with any memory imprints. It will allow me to pinpoint and remove you. I'm trying, Hope. I really am. Just seeing this again is difficult for me. What's happened to this poor fellow, then? Blast injury? Some fragmentation. But we also suspect gastrointestinal injuries, too. Mmm. Nasty. Why were you there, Mr. Black? I need to know. I need your memories. This music should stimulate your recall, Black. It's Grace. My Grace, playing the violin. You used to hear it in my office. Remember, Black. What did you do?
Please continue on your current course, Dr. Ramsey. Data indicates that you are making progress. Thank you, Hope. I thought as much. Feels like the Savant and I are beginning to synchronize, finally. It looks like this one's being transferred. He's not particularly stable. Are you sure that's wise? This comes right from the top. We're to transfer him to a private medical facility. That's unorthodox. Who is he? Looks like I can proceed now. I need to get out of the loop. You're ready as you can be, Mr. Black. We'll be moving you tomorrow, okay? Just where is he being transferred, exactly? All we've been told is he'll be picked up in a private ambulance tomorrow morning. What about the girl? Oh, there's nothing we can do, I'm afraid. That poor, poor girl. I did everything I could. There was nothing more I could...
Okay. Well, he's all theirs, I suppose. Are you sure about this? He's in no fit state to travel. Like I said, out of our hands. Everything's in place for the transfer. We're just waiting on the ambulance. This all seems a little drastic. Are you sure this is the best decision? He'll be safe in my care. I need to get to the bottom of what happened. I think what you need is sleep. Especially after Grace. Do not talk to me about Grace. I won't tell you again. Grace. My poor Grace. One moment, Dr. Ramsey. Your signal is much clearer now. Pulling you out. Yes, Hope. Apologies. How many problem memories did I bookmark in the audit? Three problem memories were bookmarked. And they're all significantly corrupted? Yes, Dr. Ramsey. We should have sufficient data to make sense of them when reviewed. Let's review in the same order we audited, Hope. Load the first bookmark. Loading. Savant playback, bookmark 001, the death of Jasper Prado. A warning, Dr. Ramsey, this memory is highly fragmented. Which is precisely why I marked it for review. I want to see what, if anything, Black was hiding. Your notes on the memory are succinct, Doctor. What exactly happened to Prado? Yes, what indeed. Thank you for the reminder. But the question isn't really what happened to Prado, moreover how it happened. I would also remind you to work quickly, Dr. Ramsey. I will keep the memory stable for as long as the Savant encryption allows. Black! For God's sake, hurry! I'm trapped! You can stop this! I was here to stop Jasper getting killed. I'm sure to stop Jasper. 